Welcome to iLectum Online. Here are the next two examples, the review exercises, again to see if we've learned all the rules. And starting with one on the right, we're trying to find the angle measure from B to C. We're given that this is of course the diameter, it must be the diameter because it passes through the center of the circle, that by definition makes the diameter. And notice that the line from A to C is perpendicular to the diameter. Hmm, which means that we have a 90 degree angle on the other side as well, because that must add up to 180 degrees. And because of symmetry, we can then say that the measure from A to B, oh, I think I want to go from A to B, the measure from A to B must equal the measure from A to C. All right, that means that on the other side, this also must be equal to X degrees. And since this is the diameter, we can then say that this is a semicircle. And of course, the total angle of a semicircle is 180 degrees. So we can say that 155 degrees plus x degrees must equal to 180 degrees, or x degrees must equal 180 degrees minus 155 degrees, or x degrees must equal 25 degrees. So using that symmetry, and the knowledge that if this is the diameter of the circle and this line is perpendicular to the diameter, that these must be equal to one another and the measures of those must be equal to one another as well. On this example, hmm, it's a little bit more challenging. But what we can do is we can find this angle right here. So let's call this angle, uh, angle, well, let's call this angle one. And how do we find the value for angle one? Well, we can say that the measure of angle one must equal to the measure of arc length from B to C. And of course, we can find out what this is equal to because we know this line from A to C is the diameter that makes this a semicircle, which means that 132 degrees plus the measure from B to C must add up to 180 degrees. That means that the measure from B to C must equal 180 degrees minus degrees minus 132 degrees and that would be 48 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle 1 is 48 degrees. Now can we find out the measure of this angle? Let's call this angle angle 2. Well, yes, because we can say that the measure of angle 2 is equal to 1 half because it's on the edge of the circle, it's one half the measure subtended by this arc right here from A to B. So it's one half the measure from A to B, which means it's one half 132 degrees, which is 66 degrees. Now we have those two angles, and of course in a triangle we know that all three angles must add up to 180 degrees, which means that x degrees plus 48 degrees plus 66 degrees must add up to 180 degrees, which means that x degrees equals 180 degrees minus 66 degrees minus 48 degrees. Now these two together, that is equal to 180 degrees minus that would be 114 degrees. That means that this is equal to 66 degrees. So in the example on the left, x equals 66. On the example on the right, x equals 25. And that is how it's done.